Apple said it is investigating the security on its iCloud service after the accounts of celebrities were hacked, leading to the publication of nude photos and videos. Initial media reports suggested that the hacks stem from individual accounts on iCloud, an online service to store photos, music and other data from Apple devices. Now with this kind of celebrity data being lost, of course people are asking how safe is the cloud? And the reality is, if it's appropriately configured and you've locked it down the right way, actually most information is pretty safe. But for this kind of sensitive information, it's really always better to keep it locally and ideally encrypt it with a strong password. So if the attackers do steal it, they end up with useless blobs of data rather than juicy information. A posting on online code sharing site GitHub said a user had discovered a bug in Apple's Find My iPhone service. It tracks the location of a missing or stolen phone and allows a user to disable the phone remotely. The posting said the bug allowed a hacker to keep trying passwords until identifying the right one. Now, Apple have also been accused of having software vulnerabilities that contributed to this data breach. And whilst it's not perfectly clear if those were actually used, it's absolutely true that Apple did make a mistake in their implementation, which would allow an attacker to try an infinite number of passwords until they eventually got into a service. And that's only just been patched. That really isn't acceptable for a large company like Apple in this day and age to have that kind of mistake in a cloud service. Actors Jennifer Lawrence and model Kate Upton were identified as possible victims. And Mary Winstead said on Twitter the hackers grabbed photos she took with her husband last year in their home and she had since deleted. Now, there's been a lot of public interest, of course, in this particular case, and many people will be wondering what's going to happen next. And the short answer is possibly nothing. We may never learn how the attacker stole this information, and we may never learn whether it was Apple's fault. That said, a forensic trail may have been left, and the FBI are investigating, as are Apple.